Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome back. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. I do want to give you guys a quick shout out for those of you guys that have reached out or contacted me through all other social media platforms. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the love. Uh, I apologize for the late uploads of the monthly readings. As you guys know, I took a few uh, days off to regroup. Uh, we experienced a loss in the family. So thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are interested in any of the personal services that we provide, whether it's personal reading, spell work, uh, any of our books or journals, you can find all of that on the description box below. I want to give you guys a quick update in regards to astrologically what is happening right now. So we have uh, just yesterday, Pluto went retrograde in the sign of Aquarius. What does this mean? Unlike Mercury retrograde or Mars retrograde, when Pluto goes retrograde, it usually brings power back. So wherever area you had your Capricorn placement um, and wherever you have your Aquarius placement right now, those are uh, themes that are going to be coming up that you're going to be dealing. But think of it almost as a review. Uh, like I said, Pluto retrograde does empower. So it, it almost brings you back with new armor, with new protection, with more wisdom. Um, so that's what's going to be unfolding, depending on where you have these placements in your chart. Then it's going to dip back into Capricorn before uh, Capricorn's last degrees, before finally stationing in Aquarius again and staying there basically for the rest of the 15 years that are unfolding. Um, we are already seeing these themes happen in social media, um, in the news and, you know, with the college, um, with the college, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, with the college, uh, I can't think of it right now, but, and we're also seeing this on you know, on a celeb celebrity culture, we're seeing people dragged left and right and people bringing out uh, their dirty laundry, right? <laughs> um, and again, it's because it was, Pluto was in Capricorn and the dark side of, or the shadow side of Capricorn is getting power at any, um, at any expense. So people that uh, basically, when it went into Aquarius, uh, it started to, Basically, people are dealing with their own karma. That's what it is. Um, and that's what we see unfolding in the media. Uh, like I was saying, the college uh, protesting that's happening as well. All of these are themes that are very Capricornish and Aquarius themes. So that's what you guys can be expecting. Like I said, it depends where you have these placements in your chart. I'm sure with the eclipses, the eclipse season, we've all experienced this. It has hit hard because there was a lot of planets that were stationed in Aries when the last solar eclipse happened. Uh, we have also the North Node in Aries as well as South Node in Libra. So there is a lot of shedding, a lot of closing cycles, a lot of new beginnings, death and rebirth, uh, whether it's in a physical aspect or metaphorically speaking. Um, so there is a lot of changes that are happening. We also have uh, Venus that just recently went into Taurus, which is its natural house, right? So there's a lot of blessings coming your way, opportunities for finances. It, it you know, Taurus rules over not only finances, but everything that has to do with, uh, um, with career, with, uh, everything that has to do with money, everything that has to do with environment, um, and anything that is earthly plain, right? That's the reason why, uh, it rolls over or it is symbolized by the bull. So anyways, um, we also have uh, Jupiter's transit that's happening in Gemini uh, as we progress throughout the months, uh, which is another massive opportunity for growth and advancement. So there is a lot of positive happening uh, right after this craziness that we've been experiencing. So Let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what you can expect for the month of May 2024. Let's begin. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, my ascendant master, spirits of divination. Please step forward, allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly for Sagittarius, sun, moon, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Give us clarity, give us insight. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what you can expect, Sagis, for this month. A lot of massive transformation, like I said, for everyone. 
uh, for the collective. Uh, it's not just on a personal aspect, is on a grander scale of things, okay? Pluto is definitely a generational planet, so it does affect not only us personally where we have Pluto placements in our chart, but also on a grander scale of things. All right, here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for Saggies for the month of May 2024? One more shuffle. Thank you. All right, here we go, Sagittarius. We're starting off here with the Four of Cups, Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, Justice card here, Strength card, and the Knight of Pentacles. So I see massive changes here for you, Sagittarius. Um, for a lot of you guys, it is changing your mentality or, pers or perspective in life. This could be through uh, daily routines. This could be habits or habitual habits that you have that may no longer align with you or that something has recently come up where your consciousness is more aware that you've outgrown certain situations, circumstances, like I said, habits, things that are more of the shadow side that prevent you from growth and advancement, okay? Uh, with the Four of Cups and Five of Pentacles, at this point in your life, I feel like you are cleaning house, basically. So again, it's letting go or releasing of toxic traits, things that have kept you um, from moving forward, things that have kept you from going towards the path that you should be walking, Sagittarius. Um, four of cups with the five of pentacles is indicating to me getting to a point of realization, like I'm done dealing with this or I'm done living this type of way. There is a massive transformation that's happening within your life for some of you guys could be fourth or fifth house, uh, that is being triggered. So fourth house has to do with family dynamics within your home, within whatever you consider your, um, your roots. Uh, for others of you, fifth house could be relationships and partnerships. With the justice card here and the strength card, it's almost like you, when I heard cleaning house, it usually indicates like getting rid of junk or things that are no longer serving us and being able to restore or bring back into our life balance, especially with the strength card here. Do not doubt yourself through this process, Sagittarius, because with the justice card and the strength card, you will be able to balance your life. You will be able to get back on track you will be able to uh, find the courage and tenacity and the strength within you to basically turn a new leaf is what they're showing. And with the Knight of Pentacles, because it's a knight, it indicates moving towards something that you're able to solidify or something that you're able to strengthen, uh, whether it's you know career-wise, whether it's, like I said, relationships, whether it's the family dynamic or whether it's, you know like I said, habits and routines. So there is a switch up that's happening here. But for a lot of you guys, what they're showing me here with the justice card and the strength, you have the strength and the courage to find the balance within your life, whether it's in relationships, it's ending or closing cycles of toxic relationships that are no longer serving you and being able to find the balance. Remember, justice is a representation of Libra, and that's where we have the South Note right now. So the south node is what we need to let go of because that's that's our comfortable state moving towards our north node. And our north node is in Aries right now. So what does this mean? This means that habits that create a lot of imbalance or a lot of chaos in our life is no longer acceptable. And if you don't find it within yourself to uh, walk away from those habits or those things that keep you basically stagnant, it, the universe is going to make it more difficult for you because it's like you're fighting against a power that is outside of yourself right now. It's like the universe wants you uh, to, to, to find that balance, to restore that balance, to restore the power within you. So again, a lot of you guys, I see changes happening here. For some of you guys, it's making a very difficult decision. But nonetheless, like I said, you will find the balance and you will find the courage within yourself to believe in yourself, Sagittarius. So Again, uh, keeping in mind your ruling planet, um, Jupiter, is recently experienced a conjunction with Uranus. So uh, massive potential there for you guys to experience doors opening up. Uh, for others of you, you're already experiencing um, almost life-changing events that are happening that are kind of forcing you to realize that we, we got to get back on track or we got to find that balance, like I said, 
the more you go against that change or that push that the universe is giving to you, the more difficult it's going to be. So take from this message, what they're telling you is for the month of May, it's going to be very important to empower yourself, to find the power within you or the courage to balance or to bring balance into your life. This is going to be very life changing for you guys. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and I will see you guys soon. Till then. Bye.